Oh, what's wrong with our usual paper? No, oh, this one's got one of them free animal wall charts. Thought it'd be nice for Amy. Poisonous snakes of the world. It's educational. Oh. You look like death warmed up. Oh. Bother! How many times? Me and Eileen just went for a few drinks together. The way you came in, crashing about like a wino, it were more than a few. Yes, well, for your information, we're going to be doing it again tonight. This is what we've got to look forward to from now on, is it? We're just going for a bit of dinner at the Italian. Ken, not five minutes out the door, and you're out boozing every night, acting like a giddy teenager. Ken has moved on. I'm doing the same. I see. Look, it's a meal out. I'm past 50. Do I really need to ask for your permission? Oh, well, if it's all so innocent, I'll come with you. I like Italian. Oh. I've nothing against spaghetti per se, but all these different shapes, tubes, sheets, spirals, it's all pasta. One big con, if you ask me. Nobody did ask you, Mother. We could say the same about potatoes. Mashed, roast, Ali, boy. Dear, please. Yes, ladies. Hello. Um, I booked a table for three in the name of Barlow. I'm still using his name. I suppose that's something. Deep breaths. If you'll follow me. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Oh, you can be sure the place is licensed anyway. A girls' night out, is it? Perhaps you'd like to join your friends? Uh, no, we'll stick with our religion. Yes, please. Try and stop us. I never knew we were so popular. <laughs> That's if it's all right with everyone else. Makes no odds to me. I'll show you to a larger table. Thank you. <laughs> it was bad. We might be able to get one of those disabled badges for the car. I've got one. They're fantastic. You can park anywhere. It's great. She doesn't drive. No, well, neither do I. I mean, you just stick it on any car you're travelling in. You could put it on Ken's. Oh, we've got Ken's car, all right. We've just not got Ken. No. And, uh, quite frankly, I think the car's probably more used to me right now. Dear Dre, you don't mean that, Lord. Look, I've known you and Ken for more years than I care to admit. You've been through so much together, you're bound to have problems. Well, of course you are. But with your Tracy and all, is there no hope? <laughs> well, he's just moved in with his ex-girlfriend and son. What do you think? And can you blame him? The way you treated him before he went? Blaming him for what Tracy did? Never giving him a moment's peace? Well, you changed your tune. You were calling him all sorts. Oh, I can't talk to you when you're like this. Hallelujah for that. So, how come you registered disabled? Looking good, Nick, to me. Oh, no, I've only got 40% sight in this right eye. Oh, dear, how come? Well, it involves a lychee, a pair of faulty chopsticks, and it's a very long story. See that? Look in that corner there. I can't see anything. That's what she said. Hardly Douglas Bader, are you? Well, I'm not claiming to be. All I'm saying is, with regards to the badge, I am registered partially blind. Really? Tell me, are your other senses enhanced to compensate? I need another drink. Deirdre? Hello? Is there anything else I can do for you, ladies? Well, you tell me. Just the bill, love, please. Oh, hey, if I was ten years younger, you'd still be old enough to be his mother. Just a bit of fun. I did think he was a bit suggestive with that pepper grinder earlier. <laughs> <laughs> 
Deirdre's already done the younger waiter thing. Thank you. Not an experience I'm sure any of us want to repeat. Oh, come on, Blanche. Called Deirdre Rashid at one point. You can imagine what the one o'clock club made of that. I am not going to let her get to me. Would you like me to ask them to wheel in another barrel of that stuff for you? Well, is it any wonder I drink with you going on at me every five minutes? Anyway, I haven't noticed you turning the wine down. Oh, now, come on, this is supposed to be an evening out. Can I call a truce? Oh, please. Look, I know some of you have probably got a lot to say about me and Ken, but... He's gone. He's playing happy families with the hairdressers, so like it or not, I am a single woman again. Look, I'm, I'm fine, Rita. I've been through worse and I'll get through this. Of course you will. We're all single here, love. Could start a club. What a depressing thought. So, first day of the rest of my life and all that, the single life. Single one, single one, single life. Single life. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, you just chat on the oh, phone? Yeah, well, it's just a customer, you know, we have a little bit of a flirt. Oh, <laughs> hey, listen, thank you for tonight. It was really good. Oh, no problem. Oh, oh. If, if you've got it in a fruit salad, we could have sangria. <laughs> I prefer my wine without chunks of pineapple floating around oh, in it, if it's it all the same to you. Rest. <laughs> oh, uh, Ken. Why don't we um, continue the party at my house? Is it far? We'll get a cab. Oh, where are we going? Where? I've got a big salad at mine. Who's doing your work in the camp? Where are you going? I thought we were here. I thought I'd lost you. Oh, love. That'll never happen. I'm so sorry. Thank you.